Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this dish known as soya sauce chicken with Chinese rose wine. Now we are going to marinate the chicken. Ingredients used to marinate the chicken are pretty simple. 2 cups of superior dark soya sauce, 5 slices of young ginger, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of Chinese rose wine, pepper, 1 chicken, this is approximately about 1.3 to 1.5 kilos, and 1 stalk of spring onion. I'll show you the marinating process now. Wash your hand first before you marinate the chicken. Now I made a cut over here so that later when I'm doing the bracing, the sauce can actually pass through the chicken easier. For the feet, I'm leaving it intact but I've cut off the nails. All you have to do is just fold it in into the cavity here, like this. Throw the ginger all inside the chicken. Fold up the spring onion. And also throw it inside the chicken, inside this cavity here. Just stuff them in. Pour the dark soy sauce in. Now it may seem a lot of uh, dark soy sauce, but because this is a soy sauce chicken and I want the color to be really dark and nice, hence I'm using that much. But of course, um, even after this dish, you don't have to throw away the marinade or rather the bracing sauce. You can keep it and then you can brace it, use it whenever you want to brace other meat or even the chicken again. Now, dark soy sauce is very important. Uh, a good dark soy sauce not only gives you a very nice tasting and a very dark caramel color, but it's not that salty. So you can use more without it being salty at all. It is just like the kind of uh, dark soy sauce that you use for your chicken rice. It's just that good. So it's very important that you get good soy sauce for your bracing. I'm adding in the oyster sauce right now, the rose wine, Chinese rose wine, and a generous dash of pepper. Normally, I like to use my hand to do this, to marinate the chicken and rub, the, rub the, all the marinade in. Now, the purpose why I'm doing this is because, firstly, the, the chicken meat actually will get a taste of this very nice marinade. And secondly, also, it will ensure a very nice color to your chicken. A very nice uniform color to your chicken. I'll be very careful when I do this to let it splatter around. After you have mixed this well, just leave it for approximately 2 hours before you braise it. Heat up a pot. Add in a little bit of oil. I'm going to put in two sticks of cinnamon bark. One stuck in this. Possibly about 15 grams of rock sugar. Nine cloves of garlic crushed. Fry them around for a while until the rock sugar melts and caramelize. In the meanwhile, I've taken out the chicken and put it aside. I'm going to pour in the marinating sauce into here after the sugar gets caramelized. This will take it a few minutes. Now if you like your chicken to be sweeter, you can add a little bit more rock sugar if you want to, but uh, I don't like it to be too sweet, so I'm just using 15 grams of it. When the sugar is melting and you can see that it's actually caramelizing very nicely. And I can smell the fragrance coming out from the garlic, the cinnamon bark and the star anise. Once the sugar has been melted, in goes the marinating sauce. I'm going to add in approximately about 2 liters of water because just now I've measured already how much water it, get, it takes to actually cover up the chicken. So total amount of water is approximately about 2 liters. Now depending on the size of your pot and of course the size of the chicken, the gravy has to actually cover the chicken. Otherwise the color will be uneven. So we wait for this to boil before we put the chicken in. Now that the gravy is boiling, add in one teaspoon of salt. Stir them in well. Then gently put in the chicken. Roll it down a little bit so that the air from the cavity can actually come up and the water is actually in. Although this is a pressure cooker, but I'm just using this as a regular pot because the rest of my pot are pretty big actually. So I'm using this to braise the chicken. So we'll cook this for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, we'll just cover it up and let it sit in the gravy for another 40 minutes. When this is cooking for 10 minutes, I will turn it to the other side for another 5 minutes, then shift it back to the original way how I put it in for another 5 minutes before I off the fire. I've cooked the chicken for 20 minutes, after which I put in 2 tablespoons of the 
rose wine, Chinese rose wine again, and I kept them in the gravy for 40 minutes. Let's see whether it's cooked or not. Very simple, just take a piece of satay stick or any pointer stick, poke it through and see whether there's any red juices coming out. Now you can see that the juices that's coming out is clear, that means it's cooked already. Now the chicken is still hot, so I'm not going to cut it right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sesame seed oil and just uh, smear all over the chicken so that the skin won't dry it up. So when the chicken is cooked, has cooled down, I will cut it up and then we will have the great chicken fist. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we made our soy sauce chicken with Chinese rose wine. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.